Colleges across the country balancing coronavirus concerns as some bring students back to campus. I feel like it's not going to take much for everything to just kind of spread really fast. But experts are sounding the alarm about what they see as another invisible threat that exists at dozens of colleges and universities. It's something called the Confucius Institute, a program that claims to teach Chinese language and culture. Many believe they're nothing more than propaganda arms of the Chinese government. They're not just for teaching Chinese and exposing American students to uh, Chinese culture. Retired Brigadier General Robert Spaulding is a national security strategist. He says Confucius Institutes are controlled and funded by China's education ministry, part of a spy network that harvests America's academic research and intellectual property and sends it back to China. Who pulls the strings at Confucius Institutes? It is a top-down organization, but at the end of the day, it's all driven from the top of the Chinese Communist Party. Even if you're not a spy, you can be coerced to do things that the Chinese Communist Party wants. The State Department and FBI have long expressed concerns about Confucius Institutes. We do share concerns about the Confucius Institutes. Uh, we've been watching that development for a while. Uh, it's just one of many tools that they uh, take advantage of. And now Congress is speaking up about the need to shut down these programs, including Representative Henry Cuellar of Texas. We Americans are very trusting individuals, but we got to understand that there are certain world actors that have certain motives. Should U.S. universities across the country sever ties with these institutes? Yes. Hands down, not even a question? Yes. Amid the growing concern, 53 Confucius Institutes have shut down in recent years, including the ones at the universities of Arizona, Kansas, Maryland, Missouri, and Penn State. But 67 remain, like at Tufts University in Massachusetts, which last year renewed its Confucius Institute contract, saying it found no undue influence by China. But it's a kind of educational service that we think is very important. Defenders say concerns of spying are all smoke and no fire. One of them is Professor Ed McCord, who helped to establish the Confucius Institute at George Washington University in D.C. Do you think that there is the potential for espionage in these institutes? Absolutely not. People who have nothing to do with Confucius Institutes are bringing their biases to it and assume the Chinese must be doing these things and therefore it must be true because I heard somebody else say that it must be true. Kind of an echo chamber. Still, experts believe there's a real threat from Confucius Institutes and that universities nationwide should be on guard. I'm Josie Sturman for Spotlight on America.